Hi everyone. Today I'm gonna show you how to create your very own oscillator unit for the Quag Prolog, Minilog XD, and NTS1 using Pure Data. Pure Data, or PD for short, is a visual programming environment for audio. The best part? You don't need to write any C code. It's all done using simple building blocks like virtual legal for sound. All right, let's get started. First, you'll need to install Pure Data on your computer. There are a few different versions out there, but in this tutorial, we'll be using Pure Data Vanilla. It's completely free. Just download it from the official Pure Data website and install it. When you open Pure Data, you'll see a small window. This is called the main window. Let's make a new patch. Go to the file menu and select new. A blank window will appear. This is where we'll build our patch. Let's start by adding two basic objects sound source and an audio output. First, go to the Put menu, choose Object, and click in the Patch window to place it. Type DAC tilde space 1. This object sends sound to your speaker or audio device. Next, go to Put menu, choose Object again, Click above the DAC and type OSC tilde space 440. This creates a sine wave oscillator at 440 Hz. Now let's connect the oscillator to the audio output. Click and drag from the bottom tab of the OSC object that's called the outlet and drag to the top tab of the DAC, which is the inlet. And that's it! Now the two objects are connected. To hear the sound, go back to the main window and click the DSP toggle in the top right corner. Do you hear the tone? If not, go to the media menu, open audio settings, and check that the correct output device is selected. Now we are going to turn this patch into a real user oscillator for your Quag synth. Save the patch as a .pd file. Open the website I've created. It converts pure data patches into user oscillator units. Behind the scenes, it uses Heavy Compiler or HVCC for short, the Log SDK, and the C compiler. But don't worry, you don't need to know how any of that works. Click the Upload button and select your .pd file. After a few seconds, you'll get a zip file. Inside, you'll find the oscillator unit files for the Prolog, Minilog XD, and MTS1. Use the sound librarian to load the file onto your synth. And you should hear the 440Hz sine wave. But wait, the pitch is fixed. No matter which key you press, the tone doesn't change. Let's fix that next. We want the oscillator to follow the pitch of the key you press. 
add a new object above the OSC. Type R space pitch space at HV underbar param. This receives the pitch value from the synth. Connect its outlet to the inlet of the OSC. Save the patch, upload it again to the website, and download the new zip file. Load it onto your synth, and now the pitch should follow the keyboard. Great job! Now let's make it even more exciting by drawing your own waveform. We'll use this waveform as the basis for our new oscillator sound. To do that, we'll draw the waveform into an array and then use a special object to read from that array and generate sound. Let's start by creating the array. From the put menu, select array. Click OK to create it, and move the new array somewhere to the side of your patch. By default, the array is named Array1, and its size is 100. You'll need to remember this name and the size, because we'll use them in a later step to play the waveform. Next, to draw in the array, go to the Edit menu and turn Edit Mode off. Now just click and drag in the array to create a custom waveform. Now that we have a waveform drawing in the array, we need to build a signal path that reads this array and turns it into sound. We'll do this by generating a ramp signal with phaser, scaling it, and using it as index number for the array. First, delete the OSC object. Now add a new object and type phaser tilde space 440. This creates a ramp signal that cycles from 0 to 1 at 440 Hz. While the phaser object is still selected, place another object just below it. Type asterisk tilde space 100. Here's a helpful tip. When an object is selected and you add a new one, your data automatically connects them. It saves you time. Next, place another object below and type tab read tilde space array 1. This reads the waveform from the array. Remember, array 1 has 100 samples, so asterisk 100 scales the phaser to match the array index range. Finally, connect the tab read object to the DAC object. Click DSP to turn audio on, and you'll hear the sound you just drew. Wanna change the waveform? Just turn off edit mode and redraw it. Last step, connect pitch input to your new oscillator. Connect the outlet of R object to the inlet of a phaser. Save your patch, upload it to the website again, and transfer the new oscillator to your scenes.
Now, your hand-drawn waveform plays at the correct pitch across the keyboard. Now here's a little bonus tip. Everything we just built using phaser, asterisk, and tab read can actually be done with just one object in pure data. It's called tab OSC4. Tab OSC4 generates a phase signal internally and reads from the array with smooth interpolation all in one step. But there's one important thing to remember. The size of the array must be a special number. It has to be 2 to the power of n plus 3. For example, 259 samples. That's 2 to the 8th plus 3. To use tab OSC4, open the properties of array 1 and change the size from 100 to 259. Delete the phaser, asterisk, and tab read objects. Place a new object and type tab OSC4 tilde space array1. Connect it directly to the DAC object. And that's it. Just like before, you can draw different waveforms into array1 and here are the results. In this tutorial, we manually built the process step by step so you can really understand how phase generation, scaling, and table reading work together. But once you're comfortable, Tab OSC4 is a great shortcut to simplify your patches and get smoother results. Enjoy exploring both methods. And one more thing. You can also use the shape knob or tweak parameters from the synth menu to add variation to the sound. You can even use LFO modulation to create dynamic changes, just like you would with any other oscillator. To help you get started, I've prepared some sample pure data patches that you can download. If you want to dig deeper or just learn from working examples, be sure to check them out. Each sample also includes a pre-built oscillator unit, so even if you just want a new oscillator to play with, you can use them right away without having to build anything yourself. That's all for today. Thanks again for watching. And I hope you enjoy making your own custom sounds with pure data. Bye bye.